everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Hope you guys are doing well today. I have a really weird character, a Dragon Lancer with the Ballistic Archer weapon with a pirate ship as well. I think that means I can shoot in the air because technically I'm not moving. It's the pirate ship that's moving. We'll see how it works in today's video. Thank you for being here. All right, we're heading into the Kregluian Plateau today. Our goal is to beat the third prime estuary of the game and hopefully have a pretty good time doing that. So we actually want to play as the Dragon Lancer or the Pirate class quite a bit right now. Uh, by leveling them up, their mastery thing, well, you know, we build XP every time we play a character, right? That XP for those two classes builds into additional armor. And I don't know if you've noticed, but New Game Plus 7 hits really hard. So if we can combat that damage in any way, that would be really, really helpful. Uh, I'm going to try to stand here, hold my ground, take down that guy, and then start shooting up at the starfish on the ceiling. Now, the good news... Oh, that could be good. That could also be good. Critical damage from spells and weapons increased by 20%. We have guaranteed crits that we can do pretty reliably. Um, I'm kind of torn on that upgrade even after picking it up. So there's like two schools of thought, right? You can either get upgrades where you lean into what your class is already good at or what your, I guess in this case, your particular weapon is already good at. Or you could try to make its faults better with relics. So this weapon shoots so slow. It's the slowest one in the game. However, if you time it right, guaranteed critical hits. We will struggle to take down any elite affects that has that damage protection for a certain number of second or a certain number of attacks. You have to hit them four times, and then you can actually start dealing damage to them. That's going to be super duper hard to pull off. However, our critical hit damage is just going to completely remove enemies from the screen. So, I mean, I think, I think that's pretty good. We do find the first Lily of the Valley. We're gonna need two of these to open up the boss door. They do take a little bit of our resolve away, but nothing too major. We'll still be totally fine. Uh, especially because we have 174% of it. But even if we were to go under 100%, we would get that, that resolve back at the boss door. Uh, looks like there is a trap chest in there. As long as we bait those arrows out to the side, we'll be able to sneak in no problem. Looks like the way forward is actually behind us. Let's double back a little bit. Okay, not sure how to tackle this first room, and there we go. Unless we move in there very quickly with a shot. There's another shield on the far side. There's a chance it could be coming back over to me. Uh, that hit something. Did it kill it, though? Where are you, shield? I'm going to tell that little thing to go to sleep. That's the environmental effect from our burdens in play there. Cutting off this side of the room, basically, from the other side. I'm going to have to fall way back. I'm hoping that shield follows me. There we go. That was a shield hit. Ooh, go back to sleep. Thank you. It looks like one starfish on the other side wasn't able to dash in time because of the weapon freeze. But we're chilling. That thing is really big. Stay away from me. Oh, that crit, though. I wish I knew how much damage that did. I feel like that was a really solid shot. Same thing here. I'm not quite getting the crit. I'm not quite holding the shot back far enough. I'm still rushing it. My internal timer sucks today. Also, that enemy hitting me is not okay. We need to play this a lot more serious. Uh, we can see them now, though. That helps. Ah! Every time they attack me, they're going to shred a little bit of my armor, which means we're more vulnerable for the rest of the run until we find some mana potions to fix that back up. And it looks like we have found a decent amount of those. Moving to the right, the mage up top is protecting everybody else. He's going to be difficult to get a shot in on, though. So let's move up to meet him! I want to really stress how crazy good this is being able to move on this boat at the same time as we're attacking. Usually this weapon makes the ranger the most immobile class because you really have to plant your feet before you could do anything. Uh, hey guys, you wanna stop shooting ice at me? I didn't think you would say yes, but you, you don't know if you don't ask, you know what I mean? 
Uh, lose no health is the challenge. That shouldn't be too bad. Just dash across once you have an opening. Easy peasy. I can see that being difficult without Void Dash, but I mean, we've had Void Dash for like literally a year now. <laughs> That's just how we live our life. Big shot on that dude as he was moving for us. Uh, that, that damage, 1500, is just the normal attack, by the way. That's, this is definitely our hardest hitting weapon. Oh God. Uh, not a fan of the ice being over there. We're good. Kill him before he shoots it. Perfect. Uh, was that chicken that fell into me there? I think we got a little bit of extra healing. It looks like we do find yet another Lily of the Valley. This will be enough to open up the boss door if we can find it. Now I will say that this weapon is probably gonna be really bad versus uh, the boss today. Unless I could just straight up Wait for crit openings. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly why. That's exactly why it's gonna be hard. If anything's moving, my job becomes damn near impossible. Oh, I just saw that worm on the ceiling. Gotta aim a little lower. I think this will hit. There we go. Take him out before he even knows we're here. Put that thing back to sleep so we could deal with the bat moving up through the floor. I don't think this is the way to the boss. Uh, the boss is, I'm gonna reset this. The boss is usually on the right side of the plateau. We've been moving left for quite a while, but I am intrigued. Some big plant up top is sending some big seekers after us. Uh, careful. Oh wow, did that spell really kill off that enemy or did a stray bolt do it? Three of these little flowers all in one spot. That's a lot of area denial by them. I think we actually handled that way better than I would have expected to if I knew what I was walking into. Hey, before you throw that javelin, <laughs> let me throw you into the air really fast. 4,000 damage on that. I don't even think it was a super crit, bro. There we go. I finally held it down long enough. There we go. Yeah. We're getting it, boys. I think this could be a really fun class uh, to play Perfectionist on, which is the trait where you only deal damage if you deal a critical hit. So I like literally have to get the timing. I didn't see the worm. Ugh. Reset so he doesn't have poison there. I would, it would basically force me, train me to get the timing down perfect. Otherwise I couldn't kill anything. Uh, big room moving to the left. Looks like it's mostly just for treasure. We do have a little guy under us here, and one to the left as well. Perfect shot, wow! Put this back to sleep, put this back to sleep. Hey, settle down. Oh God, I didn't think I was actually in the area. I'm just gonna fire off a few shots here because I want to thin out the ice the whole way down. One more, there we go, that should do it. Now I'm gonna make a mad dash to the end. Oh, just barely avoiding that damage. I think that was actually a pretty smart play if I do say so myself. We're gonna reset that plant close to us because I wanted to take down that worm first. Oh God, you're not invited into the pit. Neither are you. Jeez, this is actually a very popping room all of a sudden. We'll stay here and take down the <laughs> the worm. We'll take down the plant. I love being able to rain down death from above with this. That's super fun. What's not super fun is my current fucking HP. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, jeez. All right, there we go. Just move to the edge. There we go. Move, oh, move to the edge. There we go. We're regaining. We're regaining. We're rebuilding. We're not out of this run yet. Thank God. Actually, is this on? I guess I did start going to the right at some point, didn't I? Okay, I was starting Yeah, Okay, this is not where I would have expected this room to be. Not where I expected it at all. I think I got really lucky here today. And we find the obsidian trinket plus three. All right, boys. 200,000 gold in our pockets. We're gonna be healed up to full health as we enter. And uh, let's hope we can manage this. I'm gonna try to use our pirate mobility as much as I can. I think that's a really interesting benefit that we have that our class normally doesn't. <laughs> but this fight 
is gonna be hard. There's really no oh, getting around that. Every time we sh every time we shoot, we're frozen in place for so long. I like I couldn't even dash there. However, our damage is really, really promising. Okay. Easy hops. Oh, couldn't move in time. Relay. Oh no, no. Okay. So um, it's not going well. <laughs> It's not going well at all, and it's just, it's literally getting worse right now. Turn that off, turn that off. I couldn't move! Literally, the thing spawned under me at the start of my attack, and I could not move! This weapon is the hardest thing in the entire game. I swear to God. I thought that would make it a little bit easier to use. It did not. It did not, and it, whoa. Pizza night? With the stinger? Oh, this is our boss killer. That settles it. That settles it. This is what we're killing the boss with. Easy as that. This is no problem at all, all of a sudden. Uh, I am going to stay true to what I was saying. Grab some armor. We have a maximum of 396 right now. We were at 369 previously. They inverted. Let me go ahead and lock this down. We're allowed one lockdown per video. Sometimes I stretch it to even three. All right, remember every time this pizza deals damage, not only does it deal fantastic damage on its own, it, what hit me? <laughs> it was probably fireball. It uh, is also going to be stacking up a poison that does fantastic damage. And that poison can crit, so we're kind of double dipping into our crit talents right now. Well, I mean, just compare the two, dude. What the fuck? That's not even close! All right, put this to sleep. Throw a thing. Shouldn't have thrown it yet. That was on my, that's my fault. Uh, couldn't get high enough to throw a pizza there. There we go. I'm gonna have to put this back to sleep very soon. Wasn't able to do that. Moving for it now. Scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Moving in the middle. Oh God, that's an explosion. Oh God, little hop. Turn it off, turn it off. Okay, back in for damage. Oh, let's not forget, we do have the Kamehameha wave too. We can totally destroy these resonating enemies with that in a pinch if we need to. God, this is like the, literally the perfect character for this boss. Good damage. I tried to block that, didn't quite work, but that's not a bad thing. Didn't see the AOE of the scroll, but we're fine. Oh God, I'm just gonna cast. Clear that spot. I have an immunity frame. Everything's going poorly. Everything's going really bad. We have to reset the room. Disable that. Come on, scroll, you're taking fucking forever! Ah! Boxer is uniquely qualified for this boss because we can hang in the air for so long. It actually means that we can stack up our combo fairly competently versus this boss in most cases. And we have enough health points to where if we don't get everything right, it's usually, okay, we're in that crit range right now. We just have to maintain it, which I'm doing a pretty excellent job of so far. We are going to lose these stacks at the start of this phase, I think. Okay, put this to sleep. We gotta build them back up, build them back up, build them back up, build them back up, dash over. I think I can clear these with a well-timed punch. Actually, uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong there. I thought our class ability could do it, but I didn't see any of those move. Okay, we're in a decent spot here. That scroll will come back to life in just a moment. I have immunity frames, so I'm staying in extra long. Next hit kills me, I think. But, yay! There it is. I love bringing the boxer into this fight. It's so cool. It's so cool. Well, we may have had one extra lockdown than we intended, but today was a pretty fun video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. We're only walking away with 24,000 gold on this character, which doesn't stack up to much. But we still have made great gains in the armor department, and we will continue to as we move forward. 
And with the money that we have, I think, yeah. Uh, maybe health. I was going to get a physical damage increase. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. I'll just do that. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed. See you again very soon. Take care. Goodbye.